Hello everybody, this is Thornhills, and welcome back to Let's Play with Thornhills, episode 4. Uh, last episode we uh, went caving and found a skeleton spawner, and I had finished up the house a bit, and I had some ideas on just some things I can add to the house, so I'm going to quickly make up some stairs here. Just need a few of them. So the plan for today is to get out there and start a wheat farm, or sorry, a reed farm. So I'm going to need to go and quickly find a swamp biome and grab some lily pads. So I'll run out and go do that quickly. I'm not quite sure which way a uh, swamp is, but I'm just going to head out in this direction quickly and hopefully we'll find one. There are a lot of holes just in the ground in this seed so far that I keep falling into. definitely not what I was looking for the jungle it's gonna be uh, making it a little difficult just to get through it to see if we can find this uh, swamp for the lily pads and collecting some reeds even Need to let the land generate a bit before we continue. So we're having another beautiful day here in BC. Not quite as hot as yesterday, but that's good for me. Since I'm pretty susceptible to it. And right over there we got a nice uh, temple. We'll go and grab the TNT and see if we can get any diamonds out of it. Quickly need to make up a pick. Okay, hopefully we don't have too many mobs in there, but we'll jump in there real quick. Sorry, my mouse died for a second there again.
excellent. We found two diamonds in here and a lot of gold, so that's going to help us out a bit. All right, back to try to find some reeds. Nice little diversion here, a little bit of fighting. Try to steer clear of the above ground lava over there. Especially after we get our diamonds. Everyone dies right after they get diamonds, I think. I wish I could turn off the rain, but we will have to live with it for now. So I'm just going to head over to the plains here and cross it and keep searching for the, the swamp. So I'm looking forward to seeing this week's snapshot. I'm not sure what they're adding, but I'm very excited for it and hoping that they can put out a release soon because I'd love to uh, be able to go and look for horses in all these nice areas. And here's our swamp. I'm probably just going to collect um, uh, 20 or so of the lily pads and I'll do that real quick. Just setting the particles to minimal as the rain is causing some good lag for us. So try to get that moving for us again. Spider scared me there. We 
having issues with uh, a little bit of lag here and uh, skeleton shooting me back towards the creeper. So that was not good. But at least I survived and my iron armor I'm sure helped that a bit. I just want to collect a few more of these before heading back and at least we know where the swamp is so I can come collect some clay uh, probably off camera. I did not know that bats spawned outside of caves at night. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just gonna hurry back and I will just speed through this for you. All right, everybody, now that I'm back, I'm going to um, quickly start the wheat farm after I clear out some of these sorry not wheat farm a uh, reed farm I'm just going to build it behind my building here, um, just conserve some space for now. That is not good. <laughs> I didn't even hear him sneaking up on us. I'm just going to run into the house and see if there's any uh, dirt in there and fill in that crater. That uh, creeper uh, 
feel a little shaken up from it. <laughs> but, uh, don't usually get hit by them. So that's our reed farm. Um, I'll expand it as we go, but um, thanks for coming and watching today, guys. Uh, uh, please like and subscribe the video and comment and just show, ask me what you want to see, and I'll hopefully include it in the videos to come. Um, thanks. Bye.